How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The next update for Horizon 5 is going to be Upgrade Heroes. As we can see, per the splash screen that has recently come out in the Explore the Horizon update. This update will release on June the 22nd in 2023 and it will contain the Horizon test track, new cars, new rims and new badges. We know a lot about this update so far. We know it is going to be the Donut Media Part 2 update. Let's jump straight into how we know that and what is going to come. So yes, how do we know more about this update than what is shown on this coming soon page? Well, in the latest Forza Horizon 5 livestream where they showed the Explore the Horizon update, they gave us a little bit of a teaser right at the end as to what's coming next. Let's have a look. Uh, Kelly, lower. No, Torben, higher. No, you both got to go lower. I don't know. I'm lost. Charlie, we can have high or we can have low, but you can only have one of them at a time. <laughs> Now obviously it's very obvious what this is, if you didn't notice they are wearing shirts that say donuts all over them, that is Donut Media merch, and also we can see slight wordplay from both of them talking about higher, lower, high, low. Lower, no, Torben higher. We can have high or we can have low. We know that the Donut Media cars are called high, low cars, so it's all very obvious that they are hinting at Donut Media Part 2 coming this next update upgrade heroes which is great to see now let's jog our memory at what the donut media guys told us was going to come within this donut media update so we can have a look at what is exactly coming now there is a podcast out there where the donut media guys sort of announced the first update the first donut media update that we got last year they sort of announced it on their podcast this is what they have to say Forza Horizon DLC. This Horizon story will be free content for anyone who has the base game. I can't tell you the full list of cars yet, but you will definitely be able to drive high and low car. It's coming out in Q4 of this year. Now they didn't give too much away as to what cars are going to be drivable within the update. However, this is actually a re-uploaded version. There was a version of this podcast that they uploaded before this where they said a little bit too much which I have a copy of. So I'm going to play the different version now. In a Forza DLC pack, mm -hmm. um, you can drive high car, low car, the money pit cars, uh, high truck, low truck, all of our stuff. Um, Interesting. Now, very quickly, I've got to remind you all, if you enjoy these type of videos, please do consider subscribing. You won't miss anything like this knowledgeable update information early we all like that kind of stuff so make sure to subscribe so as we could see they gave a lot away we're going to be getting the high car low cars the money pit cars the high car low trucks or the high truck low trucks sorry in their words all of our stuff so let's take a look at what all of their stuff is so we can know what's coming so high car low car we can see that that is the 350z high car and the 350z low car 350z are great cars i've had two of them myself that is going to be coming within the update that's two cars the high truck low truck is a toyota tacoma we are getting both versions of that presumably coming in the update as we can see here two of them coming now they also have money pit cars as they said which as far as i'm aware they have two one of them is a miata as we can see on screen and the other one is a bmw e36 which is again on screen now we're not exactly sure how detailed these cars will be if we're going to get one or if we're going to get a before and after same with the money pit car sorry same with the low cars are we going to get one 350z and we have to make it high or low ourselves Forza has a funny way of doing things. Either way, there are two money pit cars coming there. Now, they do have more cars that are related to their channel. They did, as I said, they did say all of our stuff. Um, they have a merch van, which they do class as one of their cars. And they also have a Leonardo DiCaprio. Sorry, Leonardo the Cabrio. That is all of their cars that I could find that were a thing back when they said this almost a year ago now. So that is potentially a total of eight cars that are going to be coming within this Donut Media update um, if, if it's going to be what promised. Now, there might be a reason that they deleted that podcast and re-uploaded it with different wording. Maybe it is no longer possible that the update will contain all of the cars, so they couldn't say that. 
it's probably just NDA issues. Maybe they just accidentally said a bit too much. I don't think they should have said anything because when they said this in the podcast, we all expected these cars to come in the part one version of the update, which is, I think, one reason it got a lot of hate. But finally, part two is coming next, and hopefully that's going to have these cars. Now, obviously, it's not just going to have the new cars. If we look at the splash stream again, it's going to have the Horizon test track. Now, I'm so glad that the Horizon test track is coming soon. Yes, we don't know if it's going to be different to the last one, which, again, we were all disappointed on, but it finally means that that bloody crossword thing that's been doing my head in for the past six months, we can probably finally say that that last box does say test track. Now, I know I've been saying ah, it's probably not test track. It's probably not test track. It doesn't make sense. But if the test track is coming back, now it does make sense. So I'm pretty damn sure that this is test track. It's coming in the next update. Crossword is finally complete. Never have to talk about it ever again. So yeah, speaking about the test track, I hope it's a little bit different because the last test track, I'm sure most of you would agree, was rather underwhelming. It wasn't really a test track. It was roads that already existed with just some extra barriers. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. But we don't know if we're getting a Horizon story at all to go with the test track. We'll have to wait and see on that. The new rims, however, we do have a little bit of information on the new rims. As if you saw my previous video, there was a leak in the files where 25 new rims were actually spotted. Here they are here. You may remember this from my previous video. Anyway, we're not going to talk too much on it. But yeah, these are 25 new sets of rims spotted in the files. Maybe those are the rims coming in the Upgrade Heroes Donut Media Part 2 update. One of them is actually donuts related. You can see little donut sprinkles on those set of rims there. So to me, it makes sense that these are the rims coming in the update. Now, we've also got new badges as well. No real guesses of what donut media related badges we could get other than maybe it's going to be related to the stocky collectible cars that donut media do. Maybe we'll get little collectible car icons as badges. I'm just throwing out ideas here. That is the whole point of these videos. But we actually know quite a lot about this update. It's being a Donut Media Part 2. The wording of it, Upgrade Heroes. I think this Donut Media update is going to be a lot more focused on upgrading cars and tuning cars and tinkering with them rather than the very lacklustre Horizon story we got last time. It's in the name, Upgrade Heroes, new rims, new cars. The cars that we're getting are high and low upgraded cars, tuned cars, money pit cars. So it wouldn't surprise me if this update is heavily customization focused, focus, you know, which is what we all want. It's definitely what we all want. Unfortunately, though, I do have to say this. We do have a massive habit, you know, especially me, when we see a Horizon 5 update coming, when we know what's coming, when we guess what's coming, we get our hopes up. We presume for too much, we expect too much, and we often get overwhelmed, oh, sorry, underwhelmed as to what we get. A prime example is the part one of Donut Media update. I still think we should set our expectations a little bit lower though, just so we're not disappointed. But either way, we're getting some cool new cars, some cool new rims. And if you're a big fan of Donut Media, then it's even more of a bonus for you. Let me know your opinion on an update like this in the comment section below. Can they redeem themselves by making the part two of the update really good? Or are you just not interested in anything Donut Media related at all? Let me know. As per usual, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. I will see you all later.